Hi good people from all around the world, this is Nick from OBA Let's Plays and welcome to the 10th anniversary of Terraria Seed. I just saw a video that Chippy, Dame, Chippy Gaming did and I, I figured this is, is a, I would explore the 10th anniversary seed. Uh, Terraria means a lot to me for a lot of different reasons. I discovered it with my wife Michelle a long time ago. We started off in the ice biome, remember that way back when? Yeah. <laughs> so here, here we go. Now, when you do the loading, it, it looks like a normal loading thing, and that, that's what Chippy said is what's different from all the other loadings, all the other world seeds, special world seeds. Is that the loading? There's no way, no any indication that you've entered it correctly. Um, but yeah, Terraria has had a big impact on my life, and. It, to me, it's still the best survival crafting game of all time. Easily, hands down, without a doubt. Um, it's, it's up there. It's very, it's the best. It really is. There's nothing, kind of like, I think Stardew Valley is the best farming simulator or farming game of all time. Terraria is the best. It, it'll, it's almost impossible for a game to be as good as Terraria in the survival crafting. Just the polish, the... The amount of content that they have, the fact that they've been updating for years for free and stuff. I, I just want to say thank you, ReLogic, and thank you for everyone who works on the mods and the modding mod, uh, all the modders and developers out there. Thank you guys so much, and thank my Beba for her support as well. The other thing I've noticed is this icon here. The icon for is smaller over here as well. I don't know if that's just a general GUI change or if that's just how it is, but the ocean is painted Scion and it's got some ores in it too. Um, you can explore the sky here. Normally, if I was if it was on T mod loader, which eventually will be there, the people on the T mod loader are working so hard on getting things set up. And I heard once it does get installed, updated to 1.4, it's going to work even better than it did before. I can't imagine all the coding and all the hard work they've, they've had to go through to get this done. I do not, oh, here's one. It comes up pink on the map. A lot of, lot of pinks and a lot of cyans in this one. There's a weird fountain thing here. It's like a unicorn fountain thing. It's hallowed water, oh, it's a hallowed area, okay. So it's like Chippy was saying, you could do like uh, ch armor you're lucky to find a sky island that has the hallow. I'm thinking about doing the bosses um, without commentary. Bosses versus... Because the bosses are small, teeny tiny. I think I have one here. Some of the summons. I have at least the queen bee. So if we come across... <laughs> There's a story with that too. Back, back on console, which is what we first started playing on Terraria. This is Steam and PC right now I'm playing on. But back on console, there was this, um, we were playing on console, and I saw the bee's knees would be a good bow. So I kept, I fought Queen, Michelle went to work, and she was worked like a six hour shift or something. And I thought, you know, I'm going to get the bows for us, because we're playing together at the time. I'm going to get the bows for us, and we're going to be able to beat the game, beat the wall of flesh a lot easier. I beat that Queen Bee for the six hours over and over and over and kept getting stuff to get the summon for it, the uh, Bee Nation and everything. And she came back home and I still didn't have the, the Bee's knees. And she's like, hey, wait a minute, you know, and she looked it up. And it turns out at that time it was only on PC that you could get the Bee's knees. <laughs> Six hours of fighting the queen bee over and over, and she got a tattoo of, of a bee close to her knee, because the knee's very painful to get a tattoo. And I've got a tattoo of, of course, you guys, a lot of people, you know, of pumpkin, because I love fall time. I love terraria. Um, yeah, that's, pumpkin's my favorite boss out of all the bosses, although the Empress of Light is pretty cool. Um, so a lot of it's cosmetic, but as Chippy Gaming said, you know, there's... If you look in the chest and stuff, there's a lot of good prefixes as well on a lot of the items. And, um, 
and the bosses are teeny tiny. So I do plan on doing Zenith versus uh, the, the teeny tiny bosses, um, which should, should be pretty cool in this this world scene. So uh, most, the majority of the videos on this channel are Terraria videos. I think like a thousand plus of the videos I've done are Terraria, and I've been playing Terraria for years. The modding community is amazing. The develop, you know, they work really hard, and and part of the lifespan of Terraria is due to the original Relogic, you know, uh, dedication, but also the dedication of the modding community too. And it, I think Relogic leads by example as a development company on what to do with with games, and that it supports. Um, in so many different ways. One, they're not greedy. They don't charge for their, upgr their updates. So even though they could, it's not really even greedy to do that. But they're very, very generous with the, they do updates, which a normal company would charge for as DLC. But Relogic doesn't do that. And then um, and they embrace the modding community. There's a lot of game companies, if you mod stuff, that you, they don't like that. They frown upon that. But Terraria like really embraces the modding community and has passed the torch to them. So it's Relogic is such a great company, just for those reasons alone. All right, we finally got to the jungle, guys. So you get a preview of of uh, the boss fight. There's still more information about this world too that is yet to be discovered. So there could be things later on. And if I don't get in this video, I apologize, but. We're going to see at least the first one, a preview of... Look how teeny tiny the bee is. They seem to move faster, but that's because they move the same speed, but their body is smaller. Look at the teeny tiny queen bee, boo. Look. All the bosses in this seat are teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Oh, I did not mean to do that. The terror prism. I did not mean to do the terror prism. Okay, so this is a, this is a preview. This is in master mode as well. So yeah, that's a preview. I plan on doing all the bosses in this seed as a special video with the zenith. Um, I don't, I don't plan on doing commentary because I'm gonna edit it and everything. But at any rate, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys who support uh, the channel and thank you Relogic and the modding community of Terraria. Thank you guys so much, and I can't wait for what Relogic does after Terraria. Hopefully one day they'll make a Terraria 2, but I can understand after all this time they might be not necessarily burnt out, but just eager to start a new project. And then eventually one day they might come back to Terraria 2 at some point. But the modding community and what they make, it's just amazing. It's really good expansions to Terraria and changes the way you play Terraria. And I want to thank my wife for uh, for her support with everything. And yeah, all... I don't think there's been one day in the last five years you have not played Terraria. Yeah, I play. Think played, about it. One day in the last five years, have you not played? Almost <laughs> never. Yeah. Almost never. So I want to thank my boo for her support. My wife, I love you, Bubba. And so, ten years of Terraria. I wish I could have started at the beginning, back in 2011. But I'm still very grateful to be a part of, you know, to be a Terraria Let's Player, and and to just have seen the game. And they would experience the game. It is the best survival crafting game made of all time. It's like Stargate is the best party. Yep. I don't think anything will come close. It's also why I got this, uh, I realized I got the, the pump, when I got this pet, when I saw that this pet was a thing, I knew I had to have it, because of course I love fall time. So, I really do. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. And if I haven't explored everything in this, you know, in this uh, seed, I apologize. And if you want me to do an, another walkthrough, another go through on this, I might one day maybe do a playthrough of this seed to see what can happen throughout. If you guys would like to see that, please let me know down below in the comments. And I hope you guys have a good day. I might do a playthrough with the Zenith, Zenith with this. That would be really cool. But I hope you guys have a good day. Bye, everybody.